guys, I'm getting this video started late because um, I spent most of the day while Jeff was at work working in the office, getting bills paid, and doing videos and stuff like that. And then, whenever he got home, we went to Lowe's, Hobby Lobby, and Walmart. And um, the three of us did. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we got from uh, Hobby Lobby and Walmart. But I can't show you all of it. And the reason why I can't show you all of it is part of it is for a collab that I'm doing. Last year I did the um, Christmas swap and the Galentines. If y'all remember, I did those collabs. It's one of those. It's not the Galentines. But it's the Christmas swap. The Secret Santa. I can't think of the actual proper name for it right this moment. Because it just slipped my mind. But... I can't show you that because I don't want the girl that I got to know what she's getting and I'm not going to say who it is because, you know, that would be letting the secret out. But whenever time comes, I will be letting y'all know who I got and who is the one that started it and all that stuff. But I'm going to show you the things I can show you. And then Jeff and I are going to put that meat away that we got and I guess we'll share that with you. I don't know what else I'm going to be sharing because there's not really much that I'm going to be doing this evening because of, you know, uh, today was just one of those days. Now, I do have a ton of clothes to wash because that pile over there, which I, I'm probably going to take those off the hangers and stuff and I might just do that with y'all I don't know but anyway those are Jeff's hunting stuff and just our jackets that were at the other house and I want to wash them all because they've been sitting in a closet forever so we're, I'm gonna wash those just because they're dusty and stuff they don't technically need washing but I'm gonna do it anyway which now they've been on the floor but I'm gonna wash those up and uh Jeff's gonna go through them and the ones that won't work for him anymore like a if he doesn't need them anymore, he's going to give those away if they're any good. And if they're no good, he'll just get rid of them. So, let me get over here and show you what we got from Hobby Lobby. I guess I'll show you the Lowe's stuff. <laughs> Which I don't know if you'd really be interested. The lighting changes so much from over there to over here. Which it is darker over here. And the Walmart stuff that I can show you. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so the f I'm just going to do this like out of the bag style situation. But the first thing we got is another garbage can. The garbage can we had chosen, uh, we had planned whenever we first, um, before we moved here, before whenever we were renovating, we had planned to do one of those drawer type trash cans. We decided not to do that and just put it under the, um, under the sink and the trash can we have is just too small really for us so we got a larger trash can we're not throwing the other one away though we're just going to use it on the back porch for like whenever we're grilling and stuff like that so what what we got from lowe's is just a bunch of screws and nuts and bolts and washers and things just a lot of stuff like that for Noah to work on the lawnmower. So, there's that. And then, I'm always looking for like different ways to organize things, and I need some more organization in my office. Maggie's walking around everywhere. <laughs> so she's tap, tap, tapping everywhere. We just got home, so she's walking everywhere. But anyway, they have these, um, they have them at Hobby Lobby. I think they may have them at Joann's, but I know they have them at Michael's too. But these, they're actually, what does it say? The storage, the photo boxes. And they're normally like $4 a piece, but they had them on sale for $2 each. And so I got this one. This one, I think it says, oh boy, or something like that. I can't tell what it says. It's got something else over there. I thought that was really cute. Can you get Maggie's attention? And then this one. So there's three different ones that I got. I could have got more, but I didn't. They had a lot of them. 
So if you're in looking for something like that, go check out your Hobby Lobby right now and they may have some on clearance that you could get. And I'm not gonna show you anything else I got from Hobby Lobby because that's part of the gift. And I don't wanna leave y'all hanging on that, but I don't really have a choice right now. <laughs> All right, and then they had this on clearance at Walmart. Now we're going to Walmart stuff. It's the Better Than Bullion, and it's the organic kind. Um, they had it on clearance, so I grabbed this one. It's beef. It was the only one they had, or I would have gotten more than one. But this is good until 2026, and so I got this um, because I like it better than doing the... Um, stock and stuff like that because it's easier for me and it lasts longer. Maggie, what is going on? Go lay down in the bed. She don't know what's happening. All right, so we got that. And then Jeff and I, we really don't like our um, soap dish that we bought from Roses here. So we found this one. But the reason why we don't like it is because it holds water. So we found this. I'm going to go ahead and open it. It's from Better Homes and Garden one. And it's got this piece that has like a felt thing on the bottom to hold it steady. It seems really sparkly. Do y'all see the sparkles in it? Let's see if I can... I don't know if the sparkles are showing up on camera. The shimmeriness. I didn't notice that in the store. But then it's got this part and it's magnetic. So it holds it together. But this has the drain holes in it. So that our soap will um it'll drain what was i saying the soap was sitting in water all the time so it would get soggy and then whenever you picked it up to um to try to use it part of it would come off and it'd be wasting so this way i'm hoping that it will stay dry got to get the rest of this off but i'll worry about that later i don't want to leave it on there and then what else did we get? We got some Butterfingers because, and we got some Paydays. Is that all we got? Oh, and Noah got something. Um, he got some Steam cards. So now I'm gonna move on to what else we're doing and I'll be back in a second.
Okay, so now all those are off of hangers. Put some of them back into Noah's clothes hamper because I had already emptied his hamper and given it back to him, but he brought it back in here to us. And um, the hangers that are good, we're just gonna donate them because we don't need them. We have lots of hangers, so we can donate those. There's no sense in throwing them away. But there were a couple that were broken. We're just gonna throw those away. Um, so now I guess we're gonna wash our hands and do the meat stuff. I think. Right? Wrong? Yes? No? That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. He's freezing. Look at him. He's got a big old coat on. Been You're not going to be going outside for that long. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean I'm going outside. <laughs> you eat too much? Yeah, I eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> he had a good meal. We went to Mexican place tonight. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so I shared the grocery haul with y'all yesterday, and the things that I got, the only thing that's going to have to be cut up is the roast. So, these two, I'm just going to split into um, two packs each. The glass one it should be on that side. And then this, I'm going to split into two packs. And then the pork chops, I'm going to do those. So, I think he's going to be cutting that up while I'm portioning these out. Is that how you want to do it? Uh, I guess. Okay, so uh, that, I didn't put it in there right. Go back home whenever I was doing the dishes and I lost my track of thought. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bags and everything. Well, I'm gonna wash my hands because it touched the meat packages. Get the bags and start doing my part while he's doing that and probably just let y'all listen to some music. Who am I that the maker of heaven wouldn't love me and know me by name? In a world where I feel like a stranger, his love came and found me the same. In each breath that I breathe, when I wake or I sleep, everything I need is found in you. love that the God of the heavens would stoop down to love me with grace in the midst of my pride and rebellion his love wouldn't give up the chase in each breath that I breathe when I wake or I sleep everything I need
Okay guys, now I'm gonna share something that I have shared with y'all a few times. And yes, we've cleaned up all the stuff. But I'm gonna share this um, homemade ranch seasoning mix. And I'm gonna be mixing it up in the silicone bowl so it'll be easy for me to pour, at least that's what I hope. Now I am going to be doubling this recipe. So you're gonna see me put more than what I say. But it came from, give me some oven. It's a homemade ranch seasoning mix. And um, I'll try to remember to link it down below. If I don't remember to link it down below, please remind me <laughs> that I have not done it. Um, so I'm gonna get started. And this right here is buttermilk powder that I get from Amazon and I store it in the deep in the freezer. So it comes in little bags like this. It's a little Ziploc bag. It's two pounds and um, it's from Medley Hills Farm. I, I'll just try to remember to put it in my Amazon store too because buttermilk powder is harder to find than other dry milk, it seems. So I put in, there's, um, you're supposed to have one third cup of that. Y'all are gonna be hearing my appliances. Jeff, can you put the buttermilk powder back up? Because that's the only thing that needs to be refrigerated or freeze in the freezer. I don't know if you have to store it in the freezer. That's just what I choose to do. I know that if you um, open up the little, like you can get it from Walmart in a little carton. It's about that big around, about that deep, like what you see cocoa and stuff like that in. It says to refrigerate after opening, but I just put it in the freezer because it's just easier for me. Do we have any more parsley in there? I think I see some more in case I don't have enough. Two tablespoons, two tablespoons of parsley. And if you do a little bit of extra of this stuff, it's not gonna be, I don't need any more. This will be fine. Um, it won't hurt to have a little extra of this because it's just good. All right, two tablespoons of that. One and a half teaspoons of dill weed. It smells green. Why you look like that, Jeffrey? Put that over there. Um, two teaspoons of garlic powder. So maybe four. Okay. I'm trying to think. Three teaspoons is one tablespoon. So I would need one and a almost half tea or about a quarter of a teaspoon or third teaspoon third teaspoon all right it'll be all right if it's a little too much garlic that's okay we don't care we like it anyway same thing with the onion flakes no onion powder and onion flakes all right if you add a little bit extra it's not gonna hurt anything um I, i'm never precise with it anymore i was the very first time i did it the only thing i'm super precise with is the salt all right and then two teaspoons of the onion flakes. And I really don't care if I get extra of this because we just like onion anyway. Um, and then a teaspoon of black pepper. And we don't mind a little extra of that. Now the salt, I am very careful about it. Was that me or you? Did I do that noise with that thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Oh, I did it again. Okay. I'm gonna put these over here so I quit making music. And then the last thing is chopped chives. You need a teaspoon of that, but we don't care if it's a little extra. I just put a tablespoon in there. I don't care. All right, so all I do is mix it up really well and then I put it into a container. The container I did have was very annoying. I used it for years. It had a screw on lid, but the top of it didn't, 
do right anymore because I used it so long. So I had this up there from where I would use it for something else. And um, I wasn't using it right now. And I have a few, like two of these or maybe three, I don't know. But I know I have two. So I decided to use it and it'll seal. It's got a seal on it. And I put this in the refrigerator after I'm done. I, I store it really well and I store it in the refrigerator and three level tablespoons is one packet. So that right there would be one packet of the um, ranch seasoning if you decided to use this like that. We use this in like our chicken bacon ranch. We use it to make ranch dip. We used it in um, like the Mississippi pork, Mississippi chicken, Mississippi whatever. Cause you know all those recipes have the same, they have ranch seasoning in it. But um, I mix it with all that. And so what I used to do with the other jar, hopefully I can do with this one after I got it in there, before I started to use it, see, it's got some space in there. There's some space. I would shake it a little bit before I used it each time, then tap it, and then I put it on the counter so it would so it would settle a little bit, and then I could use my ranch seasoning. So I've got enough to last me for quite a while, unless we eat a lot of ranch-flavored stuff. So there's that. So, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he... Why are you playing with the light? He's playing with the light. So, um, that's all we're going to have for today because, like I said, we had things to do. We got start, started late, but we needed to do these things, so I thought I'd just share those with you. Um, I know we've just recently shared the meat processing stuff, but I also wanted to talk to you all a little bit about that. The reason why we do that ourselves instead of buying it already cut up or in the smaller packages for our family is because it's cheaper. And Jeff knows how to cut like all kinds of cuts of meat. He knows how to do all of it, so that's good. My curtain's wacko. <laughs> don't know why but anyway um i just noticed that behind me it was like what <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna go uh jeff had to work early this had to go to work early this morning so he's probably fixing to head to the shower and bed <laughs> so, and i'm not gonna be far behind him i just have a few more things to do i want to get a little bit more of these clothes washed or at least started and um like i said with these clothes we didn't necessarily have to wash them but they just been in that closet since last hunting season and just you know things get packed up smelling I guess I don't know and um, some of them been in there longer than that because I think he forgot about his jean jacket but I'm not sure <laughs> or actually something else in town whenever we lived in the city we didn't seem to need jackets as much it seemed hotter here the coolness is different and we're further south so jeffrey what are you doing hiding behind me you can't see what i'm doing i see you waving but why are you hiding who's hiding you come here uh -oh, i moved that way and i went the back that way <laughs> what are you fixing to do go shower and go to bed <laughs> what time did you get up this morning why are you crying three thirty why are you crying what am i crying you were what was that? You sleepy. Oh. <laughs> okay. You have little babies do it. <laughs> no, babies would be screaming because they want to fight to sleep. You better not start screaming. No. <laughs> <Ain't fighting. laughs> okay, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing. Um, I know that I'll be um, cooking something, but I don't know otherwise what's happening. But what I'm cooking, I've already shared a few times with y'all so I'm probably not going to do that but yeah I don't know I'll figure it out when the time comes because what I do is just share a little bit of what we do each day I don't have a certain thing that I share or a certain type of thing other than I guess our homemaking or my homemaking adventure and our <laughs> what are you doing 
and uh, whatever we're doing here at the house. What are we planning on doing? Oh, the I did want to talk to y'all a little bit about the 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 the, the fireplace. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over there. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk to him about the fireplace. What if I have a question? I'm just going right there. Then only you can answer. I'm just going right there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the fireplace we have. He thinks at the other house. Still, in, we still have stuff at that other house. Y'all know that. Um, in the shed, he thinks that we have a regulator there, which is something we need to see if this works. Because the regulator we have is for a grill or like a blackstone. It's not for gas logs or something like that. It's for propane, but it's not for logs, I guess. They have to have a different BTU or what is it, Jeffrey? You said it last night. A different pressure. Okay. So we're going to see if we have that. If they don't, if we don't already have one, we're going to Bucks tomorrow anyway. So, um, because we're going to go up there and see if we got, have that. And then we're going to go to Bucks because there's some things we wanted to see about. So I may have a Bucks haul for y'all. I don't know. It's been a long time since I had a Bucks haul. But since we don't live there, we don't shop there as much. And since we're not renovating right now, <laughs> We don't need as much. Now, There, there's more renovation that has to happen to this house. We just have not gotten there yet because we still are, technically, we're still moving in and organizing. But I'm hoping soon we can get the um, doors on the kitchen cabinets and get that butcher block thing fixed. I really want that done and um, a few more things but we'll be sharing that whenever the time comes but I do want to get the cabinet doors done because I don't want dust and stuff getting into my cabinets but there's something else Noah has said that it seems less dusty here than it did in the city and I've noticed that too now I don't know if it's just because we have that air purifier or if it's just less dusty here I know it's not as dirty even though we live on a dirt road it's just not as gross Whenever I sweep the floors, it's just not as gross to me. I don't know. It could be just a mental thing because I'm happier here. <laughs> but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We will continue to show you like the fireplace and all that stuff whenever we get the stuff we need. We definitely are going to have to have some sort of heat for when it's not too cold. But we want something just to knock the chill out of the air. We're going to have to have that. So we want to get that, the gas logs going. And Jeff and I have been discussing um, something for our bedroom because, you know, we want to have one of those electric fireplaces. And um, Anne Marie from Big Dreams Tiny Budget, she has one, which has got like the blue flames and it's long. But uh, I want one that's got a smaller thing. But I think I'm going to ask her on one of her videos. I have just not been commenting on anybody's videos even though I am I, actually I watched her vacuum one of her vacuum her fireplace today <laughs> so I might have to go back and comment on that video and ask her how warm it makes it but I'll see y'all tomorrow thank you for hanging out with me today I do appreciate it if you don't mind leave me a comment down below let me know how you're doing because I really do want to know if you have a prayer request leave that in the comments as well and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet